What's up my comic comrades? With the Disney Plus Hawkeye series underway, we're gonna break down the comic book origin of Kate Bishop. She's one of Marvel's newer characters and yet another young Avenger to make their MCU debut in a Disney Plus Marvel series. From the looks of it, it seems likely that she will also become the new Hawkeye and go on to be a driving force of the young Avengers when the MCU finally introduces them much similar to how she's portrayed in Marvel Comics. I'm very curious to see what Haley Steinfeld brings to the Kate Bishop character as I think the casting is pretty spot on. In any case, let's see how she started in the comics. Kate Bishop first appeared in Young Avengers issue 1 in April of 2005. She was created by Alan Heinberg and Jim Cheung. Now let's break this down the same way it was broken down in the comics, starting with her first appearance in the Young Avengers issue 1 and her role in that title and team in general. Then I'll talk about Young Avengers Special 1, which gives us a glimpse at her backstory and what led her to ultimately join the Young Avengers, which would lead her to become the new Hawkeye. As I just said a second ago, we first see Kate in Young Avengers issue 1. In the issue, she's attending her older sister's wedding when, wouldn't you know it, gunmen take the entire wedding party and church hostage. We find out through Jessica Jones, who's on the case, that apparently when the groom was about to kiss the bride, five guys in Armani tuxedos whipped out semi-automatics and asked all 200 guests to hand over their designer purses, wallets, and jewelry. The gunmen are going to hold the entire wedding hostage until they get safe passage out of the city, and the cops are going to give it to them. We are then taken inside the church where we hear one of the gunmen say to the cops over the phone, Thank you for your cooperation, officer. We'll be right out. At this point, Kate Bishop is super annoyed and says to her sister, the bride, the cops are letting them walk away. Her sister tells Kate, that way we get to walk away too. Kate responds, cheap response. That's ridiculous. We could take these guys. There's 200 of us and only five of them. One of the gunmen overhears her and points his gun at her head saying, yes, but we have guns. At this point, the young Avengers consisting of Iron Lad, Hulkling, Wiccan, and Patriot come crashing through the Rose window. But at first, the young Avengers do not do a good job at taking down the gunmen. So much so, Kate decides to pick up the gun one of the gunmen drop, but one of the gunmen is able to take it from her before she can use it. He then grabs her from behind, firing a shot in the air, saying, Ladies and gentlemen, we didn't come here to hurt anyone, but we will if we have to. Patriot then yells, let her go. But Kate takes matters into her own hands, taking one of Patriot's throwing stars that she picked up from earlier to stab the dude in the leg. This enables her to break free of his grip and take the gun back, pointing it at him. And while this is happening, Iron Lad says, you didn't have to do that, you know. I would have rescued you eventually, to which she responds, but this way I get to rescue you too. She then tells the Young Avengers, don't bother thanking me or anything. Patriot responds, for what? I didn't need a rescue. Especially not from, uh, she then interrupts him saying, you will if you finish that sentence. So right from the jump, Kate helped the Young Avengers take down their target, as well as help save her sister's wedding. In issue two of the Young Avengers, Kate's dad brings her to the hospital to get her checked, but she's all like, I'm fine. But her dad says, you're not fine. You've been strangled and shot at. But she says, I'm fine, and walks out of the emergency room and sits on the sidewalk, while two nurses walk by saying, that's the Bishop girl, the one who saved them all. But the other nurse replies, with what? Her daddy's credit cards? Because if you didn't know, her dad is very well. Anyway, while sitting on the curb, a blonde girl comes up to Kate saying, Hey, you're the girl from the cathedral. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Kate asks, Who are you? She replies, I'm Cassie Lang. Kate says, Oh my God, you're Ant-Man's daughter. She tells her, Yeah, I mean, I was. Cassie continues to say, I'm looking for the Young Avengers. Did you see which way they went? Kate replies, Towards the park, maybe? Cassie says, So towards the mansion. Thanks. But Kate's all like, Hey, wait, are you a Young Avenger too? Cassie replies, Nope, but I'm gonna be. At which point, Kate goes with Cassie. The two of them then go to Avengers Mansion, or where it used to be, as Jack of hearts blew it up. Cassie Lang says, this is where her dad died. Then suddenly the young Avengers show up in a puff of lightning. Wiccan then says, you're Cassie Lang. Kate then speaks up saying, and I'm the girl who saved your life. Remember? Patriot tells her, you did not. You created a diversion. She says, I had to do something. Thanks to you, I almost died. He replies, we were trying to help. Kate then says, you guys are the ones who need help, which is why Ant Girl and I want to join the Young Avengers. Wiccan asks, so do you guys have powers? Kate replies, no powers per se, but Cassie says, no, look, if I could just get my dad's gear. She then proceeds to get her dad's gear, but Patriot tries to stop her by grabbing her arm, at which point she body tosses him and then gets really pissed off saying, I'm not going anywhere. My father was an Avenger. This was his home. And one week in a month, it was mine too. Now he's dead. And all I have left of him is inside the mansion. So I don't care who you are or what powers you have. I'm not leaving without it. Kate then says, Cassie, I thought you said you didn't have any powers. She yells, I don't. And on the next page, we see she's grown about 20 feet tall with Kate saying, that's not what it looks like from here. Long story short, both Kate and Cassie are extremely persistent on joining the Young Avengers. And by issue four, when the team is about to head out to fight Kang the Conqueror, Kate suits up saying, what are we waiting for? Patriot then asks, who are you supposed to be? Hawkingbird? She gets in Patriot's face saying, don't like my outfit? 
I'm hurt. They then point out she's wearing Mockingbird's mask and battle staves, as well as using Swordsman's sword, and of course, Hawkeye's bow. Iron Lad then asks, where did you find all this? She replies, Iron Man's security code opened up the bedrooms, so I grabbed all the weapons I could find. Patriot says, it doesn't matter how many weapons you've got, you're not coming with us. She then starts reaching into a bag saying, you better start being nice to me, Patriot, or I'm not gonna give you your present, as she hands him Captain America's original shield. After this, the Young Avengers help defeat Kang the Conqueror, and Kate and Cassie become permanent members of the team. The Avengers then gather with the Young Avengers at the remnants of Avengers Mansion, with Captain America saying, in my opinion, you kids have more than proven yourselves heroes tonight. But if you ever put those uniforms on again, Iron Man and I will do everything in our power to shut you down for good. Cassie then says, but you could help us. You could train us. Iron Man tells them, we can't, not without your parents' consent. But if you want us to talk to your parents, but of course, the Young Avengers are like, nope, no thank you, that's fine. Captain America then says, before we go, I need you to leave your gear with us. The bow, the shield, the throwing stars, all of it. They all walk out together defeated, but Kate's like, it's not over yet. Cap said he wouldn't train us, so we will train on our own. Hulkling tells her, no, Cap said he'd shut us down, and I, for one, don't want to make an enemy of Captain America. That's not why I got into this. Kate asks, then why did you? He tells her, because I wanted to help. Wiccan then jumps in saying, we all did. Kate then tells them, do you have any idea how many people out there can use our help? We can't stop because Captain America thinks we're too young. But Cassie, Wiccan, and Hulkling are like, my parents would kill me. Flash forward several weeks, Kate and Cassie meet up with Patriot, Wiccan, and Hulkling, where Kate is saying, what if we kept the team going? They then tell the guys, if we want to, we could still be the Young Avengers. Before you guys say anything, we need to show you something. Kate then takes them to an abandoned warehouse where she tells them, with a little time and a little planning and a lot of my father's money, this could be our lair. She then puts in the code and opens the door with brand new uniforms hanging on a rack. Wiccan then speaks up saying, Cap said if we ever put on our uniforms again, but Kate interrupts telling him, I know what Cap said, which is why I got us new uniforms. They then ask, how did you do this? She tells them the older ones were shredded. My dad's beyond wealthy and I've got a few connections in the fashion industry. They're like, I don't know, but she tells them at least try it on. And with that, all five of them put on the costumes she had made for them, setting out as the Young Avengers once more. Now skipping some stuff here and there that I'll venture into once we make an origin of or history of Young Avengers episode, we learned that Patriot was injured during a battle between the Kree and Scroll Empire, which Kate blames Captain America for as he wouldn't properly train them. After the dust settles from the war, Jessica Jones shows up to give Kate Hawkeye's original bow and arrow, along with the note from Captain America that's addressed to Hawkeye, telling her that's the codename Captain America picked out for her. Jessica Jones goes on to tell her, look, even without the bow and arrows, the only Avenger who ever stood up to Captain America the way you did was Hawkeye. She then looks at the note that says Hawkeye saying, no, no, no way. But ultimately with that, she became the new Hawkeye as the mantle was essentially given to her by Captain America, the first Avenger. Now that's how Kate Bishop became Hawkeye, but now let's take a second deep dive into her past to see how she got to this point. In the Young Avengers special issue one, we see Jessica Jones asking Kate, why are you taking up the bow and arrow? At which point she starts breaking down why she chose to become a superhero. She starts off telling her, the truth is I've never been comfortable with my family's wealth. As we see her helping her sister get ready for her wedding, which as we now know, is the same day she would meet the Young Avengers and start our journey to become one herself. Anyway, Kate then asks her sister, do you know how many starving families we could feed for the cost of this wedding? Her sister says, I'm begging you to shut up and try your dress on or I'm gonna find myself another maid of honor. Kate says, half a million dollars. Why not get married at City Hall and give the money to charity? Her sister replies, because we already give plenty of money to charity and I want a wedding. Kate then says if mom were here, but her sister interrupts saying, if mom had taken care of herself instead of running all around the world trying to save it, she would still be here. Kate then asks, what's that supposed to mean? Her sister tells her, it means life is short. Don't waste yours doing what you think mom would do. And if it turns out you actually wanna spend the rest of your life in soup kitchens and women's shelters, I'll support you because I'm your sister and that's my job. We then see flashbacks of Kate's childhood with captions of her saying, life is short, as we see her giving money to a homeless woman. We then see her walking in a park as she tells us, and it doesn't matter how good your grades are or how many hours you put in the soup kitchen, you're not safe. Bad things happen, things you can't control, things that have nothing to do with you and they will destroy you if you let them. As we see her as a young girl getting attacked by a man and sexually assaulted, while she's walking through the park. We then see her in a therapy session where she continues to narrate saying, or you could try to learn from them so that the next time you'll be prepared. So that even if you never feel safe again, you could do your best to make sure that whatever happens to you never happens to anyone else. And if you're very lucky, you won't have to do it alone. As the comic shows her now as Hawkeye on the Young Avengers. The book then brings us back to the present as we see her telling all of this to Jessica Jones as she's going around asking all the Young Avengers a little bit about themselves. But there you have it friends, the origin of Kate Bishop. To summarize, she was inspired by Clint Barton and eventually took up the mantle of Hawkeye herself becoming a founding member and driving force of the Young Avengers. Literally, she was the one who kept pushing the team to stay together against all odds. 
She's also kind of the Tony Stark of the team as she uses her father's wealth to fund it. Anyway, I do want to mention when Clip Barton Hawkeye eventually returned, he started an on-off again partnership with Kate, which it looks like the Hawkeye Disney Plus series is going to be focusing on heavily. As for powers and abilities, she's a normal human. She has no superhuman abilities. However, she is obviously highly skilled in archery, sword fighting, and unarmed combat. Essentially, she's a female Hawkeye, just nowhere near as experienced or skilled. As for reading recommendations, check out the 2005 Young Avengers title, Young Avengers Special Issue 1, All New Hawkeye, and the 2016 Hawkeye series. And that's going to bring today's episode of Variant to a close, but if you enjoyed today's episode, check out this one right here. And if you like all of our content, subscribe, like, and comment. It always helps the channel grow. But other than that, I'll see your lovely faces next time when I talk about all things comics.